Strengthen us with your flame, Lord Abidun. Remember yourselves, Pargrun, and defend the battery! Certainly. Together. We're in this together. I'll organize the troops to guard the stairs. We can hold them off for a while. Vazel's repairing the Guardians. Elune's preparing for the... You can't be serious about this. Let's just wait those monsters out. Abidun wouldn't let us... Abidun rewards earnest work, not begging and cowering. We must hurry. Soldiers. We'll give ourselves for the battery. If you say so. I will walk unseen. If you say so. Got it done. Oh? Step lightly. Certainly. Fetch our best armors. They must stand up for the heat. If you say so. That'll right be... away, Master Vazel. There's not much time. Alone, we've never introduced this much essence into the White Forge. It. Right Abidan gave us the tools, Vasil. Yep. We've got to make them work.
The margins of this text are scribbled notes of references. The ink stained pages appear to have been much you have seen much use in earlier times. The removal and transference of souls is a practice both ancient and sophisticated. There is evidence that the Anguithians were particularly adept at this, yet few details have survived them. Someone scrawled Annals of Peregrinum, page 382 to 386, below this paragraph. What is known is the removal of the soul is a difficult process and one that requires an expert hand and precise tools for any chance of success. Early attempts on a test pool of 138 goats left most of the subjects with maimed or fractured skulls. Sorry, souls. In all but two of the 11 instances where the soul was successfully removed, the essence dissipated before the scholars could compare it. The transfer, sorry, the words transfer to holding vessel are written and underlined in margin. <clears throat> the process requires conductive materials, copper and audra, specifically immersion in water is important to ensure the soul is drawn in a steady and uniform manner with no distortion or breakage. A warped soul is at best useless and at worst unpredictable. An arrow points to the paragraph, uh, the scratch note extraction pool insert, they're 18 feet wide by three feet deep. We have since mastered the process of soul transference have been benefits of infusing forge work with the essence of animals and wilder. What remains to be seen is the, whether we might see great gains from using souls of kith. Um, dang. All right, cool. If you say so, got it done. Yes. Your skin prickles as you approach the vat. It seems with it teems with soul energy, with lives spent and stored thrice over. Essence rolls like churning water, rolling over ancient pipes and gears. But there within the vat itself lies a heavy stone disc. <clears throat> Rune engraved <clears throat> pale as bone. Reach for the object. You feel a chill run up your arm as the moment your finger brushes the disc surface. Whispers are up from the stone around you, and out of the chorus rises a single, steady voice. Stop! These methods belong to us, to the Pargrunin! What is this? Years of toil, the pride of a generation. You would steal from us, from the... Abidun himself. You will regret your trespass. You hear a grinding, clicking noise in the hall. Something moans and snarls outside. Hmm. Certainly. Certainly. We'll 
stand ready, Commandants! Abidan, guide us. Strengthen us with your flame, Lord Abidan. All right here. Temper okay. us for the crucible. There we go. For every work, there is a practice. I arm yourself with skill and temper your labors with patience. Strike only when your medium is ready. Do not work cold work plate. Brittle steel is worse than a treacherous friend. Temper your work best in shatter like glass. Fools praise appearance, but the master praises strength. True virtue lies in work. Well done. Pattern wielded steel shall be folded no fewer than seven times finest smith cannot shape poor metals your hands are sorry set your hand to steel that has been properly treated with charcoal <laughs> live a live a room full of discord is a forge with uneven heat do not let it pervert your metal that's funny all right i don't feel like reading the rest of it Right here. Yes. Okay, I found the white forest. Let me backtrack and check out this stuff over here. We'll hold them off as long as we can. If you say so. The records are here. Keep searching. Is this safe, Curate Loon? Annals of the Peregrunin. It was in a time of Erdin Hill, the sure footed, that we came to Calabian Relig, the ancient place of the builders, as the locals call them. It was a marvelous sight, a door in the fountain sorry, in the mountain framed by a pair of ghoulish aspects, though some exercise of trickery or cunning, and Edrahil was able to gain access for our scholars that we might observe and record what lay inside. We discovered a foundry of sorts, the like of which neither we nor our distant brethren have seen. Through careful observation, we surmised that the ancients had used this place to extract souls, transfer them to suits of armor, to deli de delicate and challenging work, yet the scale they had achieved left us humbled and astounded. Perhaps most Remarkable with golems, living suits of armor powered by essence. We lost two of our fellows when the creatures caught us unawares, but once we subdued them, they proved quite fascinating. All too aware that our host would never again allow us, nor other curious travelers, to, traver to visit this place, we took 
meticulous notes and measurements of all we saw, forsaken bread and sleep until the work was done. We reported all to Enderhill, upon, whereupon he praised our work and urged us quickly forward, for it was such a place lay abandoned in the forest. Who can say what other mysterious gods and kith have left in this strange and wild land? Blah. I was saying blah because that was a lot to me, for me to read. <laughs> The letters on this tablet are crisp and deep as if chiseled recently. They read, Though our towers of stone are surrounded by gates of coral, we are Peregrunin still. Write our names on your wall, wall, halls and your hearts. Craig Saints across the stone tablet edges are worn. We who stand shoulder to shoulder alongside the oldest of kith empires, kith empires send your you forth. Honor us as we remember you. We plant ourselves in a strange and wild land, but remember well our roots. Though we are distant, no, it is still our king. Meditate on those who came before you, those who go beyond you, and remember first your father and last your younger brother, and know all Peregrinin as kin. If you say so, that'll do. Hmm? This gilded globe has been crafted with exquisite detail. Mountains of hammered gold rise over mirror smooth seas and rivers that carve the continents are as thin and neat as if they've been carved with a razor. Three perfect sp sapphire marks, location in Ratatai, 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 Old Valia, and the Living Lands. The bronze band that circles the globe is inscribed with three repeating lines. Remember all Peregrinin, from the oldest before you to the youngest who follow you. Um... Round spears are just large enough for you to press them within your thumb. You test them and feel some kind of spring-loaded mechanism beneath them, but can't determine. All right. So remember all the, the oldest before you and the youngest. So the oldest is Old Valia. The youngest... I don't know. Would it be Living Lands? Remember first your father and last your younger brother. But no, all is kin. Plant ourselves in a strange wild land, but remember well our roots. Though we are distant, we know that we can. We stand shoulder to shoulder alongside the oldest of the Kith empires to send your fourth honor as we remember you. I mean, if it's left to right, then it's wild, then Old Valia, and then. Hmm. Um. Press the Living Lands Valia Regent. So they have it in that order. You press the Sapphire Set in Old Valia. It sinks until it's flush with the surface of the globe. Okay. And then. 
what how do I tell the difference between these two? Right, so I, towers are stone are surrounded by gates of coral. We are parents still, write our names. Okay, so I mean I'd say that's the oldest before you to the youngest. Okay, so press it, living lands. And then Ratatai. To press the sapphire set into Ratatai, it clicks into place along the current coastline. As the last sapphire snaps into place, the globe glows with veins of brilliant blue light. Then it rotates a quarter turn. As the lights die out, you hear clanking gears and granny stone from one side of the room. Boom. Unlocked. Certainly. If you say so, that'll do. The Guardians will hold the door as long as need be. Everyone else is ready. So few of us remain. Lord Abidun, guide our hands and steel our hearts. Give us the mercy of your forge. Dare you to stick your head in there? A large stone skull stands. Skull. Wow. Stone dragon. A large stone dragon skull stands vigilant. Wow. Vigil at one end of its circular chamber. Within its maw is a network of steel dividers, tubes, and vents, indicating that this impressive construction served as a furnace of the White Forge. There is a shadow basin at the foot of the furnace, and in the eye socket of the skull, there is a golden ring. Sorry, golden rings. Eventually meant to house some manner of gem or instrument. Place an Ardra sphere into the left eye socket. Ardra sphere into the right. Place the stone disc in the hollow space behind the basin. Examine the forge some more. 
The Dragon Skull gazes upon you with its hollow eyes. Both have gleaming golden rings worked into the sockets, and both of you stand empty. In the basin of the basin first, you notice a rectangular gap as if something is set there. So place the stone disc, uh, hollow space. See, I don't understand why I would put a stone disc into a rectangular gap. That doesn't seem right. Let's see if I can do that. Can do that, okay. A bit snuggly. Feel a faint vibration in the skull. It grows intensely until the very ground seems to shake. Loose cobblestones. You leap from the furnace coming. Okay. Oh. What stirs in the heart of the battery? read the last one sorry a thin smoke rises from both orbs and the depths of the furnace you think you hear rattling on machinery heat tremors they return that's pretty cool but it says it's rectangular so So I don't know how that works, how a disc can fit perfectly into or out of or with a rectangle, but whatever. Anyways, from deep within the furnace comes startling mechanic screech as if some hidden mechanism has come to life from the vents around you. Okay, so gusts of hot air erupt from the stone, uh, molten or ribs from the basin, and dark billowing smoke begins to gush from the skull's fangs. You hear another rendering shriek, but not a machinery on your rice course of howls, bodies, voices change in despair. Remember yourselves, Pargrunen. Defend the battery! Wait, what? <laughs> So apparently I haven't started it. I mean, I definitely don't know how to use it though, but I have awoken it. Yes. Stop, Marauder! Our bodies are dust already. 
Must you profane holy ground with further violence? Did the height of our walls offend you? Did we cross your borders? Sail you weak steel? Tell us, why did you invade our fortress? War 5. Durgan's battery has been deserted for over 200 years. Invade? There's nothing here but spirits and skeletons. Well, the front door was open. Well, I think there... <laughs> I think there's a misunderstanding. This place is abandoned. The halls are numble, rubble and your people are dust. Who will stop me? I like the first one, of course. No. That cannot be. Arbiton wouldn't allow it. Wake up, Exandru! This is why Abidan gave us the White Forge, that we might take up arms and deal with villains like this. Such a magnificent device, and she can only see it as a tool for war. She shames our grandparents, who wandered this continent and... Quiet, both of you! Can't you feel it? This chill. This silence. But you... You entered our keep and found it abandoned. Ruined. What happened to us? I was hoping you could tell me. What do you remember? Stories say you fought amongst yourselves and destroyed one another. Intellect 16. The official history is that you destroyed yourselves, but it looks like something, someone or something invaded the battery. Ooh, what this one? I'd never seen anything like them. Twice the size of any ogre, and positively fearless, they were... Eyeless. Yet no matter how hard we fought, or how deep we hid, they kept coming for us. Why did they attack you? They didn't stop to explain themselves, yet I wondered at what monstrous wilder might survive in a place like this. We should have taken our steel and pushed east. What's to say they didn't come from the east? From the lands Maroon so coveted? It was a punishment for taking this gift of Arbidum, the White Forge, and squandering it on our greed and vanity. What were they? Some kind of magfolk. Bigger than any we knew of. We who survived never got close. They were relentless. Unnaturally so. We retreated until there was no place left to go. Until those of us who remained were here. Here, with the salvation Abidon had left us. What was this salvation? We're in tow. Intellect 16. You use the White Forest to channel your souls into the battery. Oh, shit. Yes. Using the same methods with which we had fashioned so much cold steel. So the dwarves never expired. Expired, not truly. It was agony. Feeling your soul ripped from your flesh. Feeling every part of you torn asunder. But it saved us. Imprisoned us. It was Abidun's grace. Now, we inhabit the monument our people built to the White Forge. This is, what does that have to do with Abidun? What does the White Forge work? How does the White Forge work? I see. Now you're here in Durgan's battery. All right, what does this have to do with Abidun? The White Forge belongs to Abidan, of course. It is here that he built his own body. And whether he found this place or created it, it's a truly remarkable smithy. We Pargrunin are wanderers by nature. But it was Abidan's call that led our forefathers here after generations spent along the Pearl Coast and Air Glonfath. So the old stories say. Then again, I can't see any other reason our grandfathers would have stayed here when greener lands lay east. How does the White Forge work? Its fires have been blessed by Abidum. They're fed by Aeora's molten heartbeat and veined with Audra, 
that runs to the center of the world. Which explains their conductive power. See, these Audra veins allowed us to siphon essence into steel as we shaped it. And that essence, the extraordinary heat of the forge, and our smith's skill is what made Durgan's steel so remarkable. Stuck here, you mean, with all the others who sought to escape the Eyeless. <laughs> is that a bad thing? To observe the pa to observe the passage of centuries in peace and solitude, that would be perfection. You're trapped here, never experiencing anything new. It sounds maddening. Drifter, don't know. I'm gonna go with empathy. Number three. Had we thought longer on the fate that awaited us, we might have chosen a quick death to this slow agony. Blasphemy! There's no greater honor than remaining here, watching over the White Forge. You'd think so. How dull. That does sound appealing. Easily entertained, huh? I suppose that's one way to look at it. Not if I had to listen to your endless drowning, right? Um, easily entertained. The long vigil is a quiet duty, but a noble one nonetheless. I only wish we could protect this humble monument better. Or do something. Anything. We were once among the greatest smiths in the known world. Tell me, do Kith still speak of us? Would it matter now? Let go of this observation. Obsession with your reputation. Boom. But it's more than our reputation. It's our legacy. What was the point of our work, our sacrifice, if it's so quickly lost? Yet if our lives and labors are so easily forgotten, what was it that brought you here? There we go. I wanted to learn how Durgan steel is made. None has ventured inside Durgan battery for 200 years, that reason enough for me. I'm hunting a group called the Leaden Key, and they are seeking a way into the battery. There's a village called Stalwart that's fallen on hard times. They asked me to find White Forge. Uh, there, I heard there was a bounty in a priceless weapons here. I don't know. Okay, so, um, village, doesn't sound too big, called Stalwart that's fallen on hard times. They asked me to find White Forge. That one or Leaden Key? Um, yeah, I like this one. At this admission, you feel a softening in the essence of the paragon. <clears throat> in one moment, each soul and fragment, sorry, fragment is distinct, and then the next they form an indistinguishable, indistinguishable host. You perceive them as a school of fish caught in tide, a flurry of snowflakes in the wind, a pantry full of fragrant spices. Then I hope you're satisfied with what you found here. At least you get to leave this place. But it was good to be remembered, however briefly. As the souls of Durgan Battery speak to you, their collective essence takes shape, much like Mater Waltz did. There are scores of them, all torn by conflicting purposes and trapped in memory of their lost battle. You taste the bitterness of their uncertain existence and feel the persistent ache of centuries. It is a slow, agonizing fate, but you find it in your power to grant them another. Release them from Durgan's battery. You're free to roam again, return to the wheel, and seek new lives. Bind them to the cannons, defend Abaddon's forge and fortress you built around it. Build, bind them to White Forge, tend to your legacy, remain here, lend your skills to others. I mean, this might make them happy. Uh, but... Yeah, let's let's do that. Let's bind them. Instead of releasing them, I want to release them. But obviously, I think like two of them don't want to be released. So you feel a plunging sensation as the energy of dozens of souls rush towards the white forge. It buffet buffets you like a snow storm sorry, a storm wind. You brace this up against it. Finally the either grows still again and you feel another power radiating from the white forge. It illuminates a warmth that you feel in your soul, yet you know you could draw it close and without it fearing the heat of its fires.
This is in the top right. Alright. White Forge is now available for your use. It has unique abilities to refine Durgan Iron Ignits. Multiple iron ignits are required to create a single refined ignit. After refinement, these ignits can be used anytime in enchanted recipes to augment weapons. Cool. time you stepped out of Durgan's battery and into the new snow outside, word had already spread of strange lights rising from the fortress and energy crackling in the sky. The survivors of Starwart flocked to Durgan's battery, their steps hastened by the promise of peace and prosperity at last. They mended their walls, gathered their strength, and prepared their town for the new opportunities that were sure to come. And with the voices of Durgan's battery silent at last, None heard the distant groan of something stirring among the peaks, as massive and relentless as an avalanche. <laughs> 